I have a plan. You've got a plan. Yes. First of all, you're copying me from when I said I had a plan. I'm not. People say that all the time. It's not that unique of a thing to say. Secondly, I don't even believe you have a plan. I have part of a plan. What percentage of a plan do you have? You don't get to ask questions after the nonsense you pulled on nowhere. I just saved Quill. We've already established that you destroying the ship that I'm on is not saving me. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago! I wasn't listening to her. I was thinking of something else. Oh. She's right. You don't get an opinion. What percentage? I don't know. 12%. 12%? That's a fake laugh. It's real! Totally fake. That is the most real, authentic, hysterical laugh of my entire life because that is not a plan. It's barely a concept. You're taking their side? I am groomed. So what is better than 11%? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Thank you, Groot. Thank you. See? Groot's the only one of you who has a clue. I need your help. I look around at us. You know what I see? Losers. I mean, like, folks who have lost stuff. And we have, man, we have, all of us. Our homes. Our families. Normal lives. And usually life takes more than it gives, but not today. Today it's given us something. It has given us a chance. To do what? To give a shit. For once. Not run away. I, for one, am not going to stand by and watch as Ronan wipes out billions of innocent lives. But Quill, stopping Ronan, it's impossible. You're asking us to die. Yeah, I guess I am. lived most of my life surrounded by my enemies. I will be grateful to die among my friends. You are an honorable man, Quill. I will fight beside you. And in the end, see my wife and daughter again. Standing in a circle. I received a transmission from one of the Ravagers. He says Ronan's in possession of something called an Infinity Stone, and he's headed towards Xandar. Good God. Did he say why we should believe him? He said his crew just escaped from prison, so we'd have no other reason to risk coming to Xandar to help. He says that he's an a-hole, but he's not, and I'm quoting him here, 100% a dick. Do you believe him? I don't know that I believe anyone's 100% a dick, man. I mean, do you believe that he's here to help? 